Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in all new PAL world. This game is relatively new and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your FPS so make sure to watch it till the end. Do leave your specs down in the comments below and without wasting any more time, let's get started with the video. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that you need to search for settings on your PC. Once you're here, go all the way down to gaming, then over to game bar and make sure to turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and disabling so will help you to get better FPS. Then you have to go down to game mode and make sure to turn this thing on. I have tried this a lot and game mode turn on will give you the best FPS possible. However, if it does not, then you can simply turn this thing off as well. Right beneath that, you'll also find related settings in which you'll find graphic settings. Now you have to click on change default graphic settings and enable both of these options. First one is hardware accelerated GP scheduling and second one is optimizations for windowed games. Both of them will help you to utilize your GPU more than your CPU and reduce your input latency. Then you have to go back and then click on this browse button. Now you have to locate your game installation folder and then in here you have to add the exe file on the top. You can simply go over to options and then select high performance over here. Click on the browse button again and this time you have to go to PAL, binaries, Win64 and also add the Win64 shipping over here. Then you have to go to options and then select high performance for this as well. Once you're done with that, simply close settings. Now let's move to step number two that is compatibility settings. And for that you have to simply open up your file explorer. And now you have to locate your download location. For me, it's over here. Then you have to go over to PAL, binaries, Win64. And in here, you have to select the Win64 shipping, go over to properties. And in here, go to compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimizations then click on high dpi scaling behavior and then simply select this option click on ok and apply you have to do the same for palworld.exe over here as well so go to properties go to compatibility disable full screen optimizations and override high dpi scaling behavior simply click on ok Step number three is the local group policy editor and this one will only work for Windows Pro users. So if you are a Windows 10 or 11 home user or a non-pro user, you can always skip this step. For the pro users, you have to simply search for local group policy editor and open up the edit group policy. Over here, you have to maximize the screen and then you have to go over to administrative templates. Then you have to go over to Windows components and then app privacy. In here, you'll find let apps run in the background. You have to double click on this and it will open up the panel so you can configure it. You have to click on enable and then select default for all applications to force deny. This will make sure that none of the applications are running in the background whenever you're playing the game in full screen mode. Simply click on apply, close it and then close your local group policy editor. Next step is deanimating your windows. Since windows has a lot of animations which are really unnecessary and it consumes your FPS in the background. So for that, you have to simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows simply open up the performance options and then over here you have to click on adjust for best performance then you have to click on show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts to retain some decent looks of your windows but other than that it will disable all unnecessary animations on your pc the next step is right after this in the advanced section you have to go and set up your virtual memory this will help you to increase your performance whenever you're playing the game so for that you have to open up system information on your pc and then look for the installed physical memory that is 32 GB for me. It could be different for you. Also take a note of your processor that is AMD for me. Now over here, you have to open up a calculator right in front of your performance option. And over here, you have to do the following calculation. Simply multiply the RAM you have installed on your PC with 1024 and that will give you your memory in megabytes. Now you have to click on this change button. And then for the initial size, you have to set this thing to 1361 because it is a little over 1 GB of your memory. Then you have to set your maximum size to the half of your total physical memory. So you have to divide the total physical memory by 2 and whatever amount you are getting, remove the commas and put it in the maximum value. This is the correct way to set up your virtual memory. Simply click on OK and then click on Apply. Next step is fixing all of your network issues using Gear Booster. Gear Booster helps you to tunnel your internet connection straight up from your PC to the game servers, which help you to fix your lag and ping issues. You can simply download Gear Booster from the link in the description below, and the application looks like this. Now, once again, they have recently added PAL World to their list, so you guys can simply look up for PAL World over here 
and you can find it on the list over here and not just pal world but you can pick from over 100 games in this application you can simply one click boost your game and as you guys can see it will automatically connect you to the nearest server get a booster will automatically decide which server is closest to you by the auto server feature and it will help you to show the estimated ping that you're going to get in the game and the amount of improvement that you are going to get in the game i personally think that gear booster is a really helpful software since it helps me to fix my input latency and ping issues in not just pal world but all of the games the best part about this is over here you can go to the configure section then you have to go to optimization settings and simply enable all of these options over here and it will help you to fix your network issues on the go so guys go check out gear up booster links are in the description below i hope it helps you to fix all of your network issues and help you to play with your friend now let's move ahead with the video next step is creating a restore point and for that you need to simply search for create a restore point on your pc then over here look for your local disk c or in drive it says system simply click on create and name it pal world so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential in saving your system integrity if anything goes wrong or you want to restore all of your settings back to normal you can always do that without any data loss next step is the pal world fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you can also join my discord server for downloading this you can simply open this pack up and in here you'll find four simple folders first one is the cpu priority and over here i use an amd cpu so i need to run the amd cpu priority but i have also left an intel cpu priority if you use an intel cpu second folder is the ram optimization and over here i have left a ton of presets according to your memory i use 32 gb ram so i need to run this one however you can pick the one that you use on your pc and once again if you don't like it you can always reset to default the settings third one is the windows important tweaks and over here i have left some of these registries you can simply run all of them to improve your performance to the maximum level the first one will disable unnecessary services second one will disable background apps and this one has to be done by all windows users no matter if you have a pro or not this will disable background applications from the registries then disabling maps transparency clear page file at shutdown improve system responsiveness as well as 32 priority separation all of them will help you to increase your system's performance and increase your fps as well once again if you don't like any of these registries you can always go to revert registries and revert all of them back to normal last one is the pal world priority and in here i have left a pal world high priority registry if you guys are not yet aware this registry can help you increase your fps by a ton so if you guys use a laptop or a desktop i simply recommend you guys to double click and run the high priority and this will help you to increase your pal world's priority as well now once you're done with all of these settings, I highly recommend you guys to open up Pal World on your PC and simply follow the best in-game settings. Okay, so once you are in the game, you have to go over to the options button and then click on graphics. Right over here, don't change your presets. You have to go with the custom presets that I'm going to be telling you guys. Screen mode should always be full screen and your screen resolution will be automatically set according to your screen. Then you have max FPS. You have to set this thing to no limit. VSync and motion blur should be turned off. Then you have view distance. You have to set this thing to epic, but then you have to change all of your grass and quality to low. Once again, if you don't like the quality, you can always set all of them to medium as well it won't change a lot of performance then your dlss i highly recommend you guys to set this thing to performance but if you turn this thing to off you can change your anti-aliasing you can simply set this thing to none for getting better performance after that your field of view you have to increase it all the way to 90 and then your camera shake should be turned off once it is done you can go back and you have to restart your game to apply all of these changes simply click on yes now you can restart your game so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have to do leave a like and smash it subscribe button also if you guys want a dedicated guide on the best settings for other games you can always leave your opinions in the comment section i keep checking all of them we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out